go ahead and run pip install google adk now if you already have a version of google adk installed you can do an upgrade to version 1.18 which is the minimum version that is required to start using the visual builder feature i now have the pip install complete i'm now going to go ahead and run adk web this is going to open up the web console for ADK. Here I am presented with an option, new option, which is create a new agent in visual mode. I'm going to say visual agent one. Once I create this, you can see on the right hand side, I have an assistant, which is which I can use to create a natural language based agent. And on the left hand side, I have also a workflow based visual builder that I can use. Let's first start with the natural language scenario. I'm going to say create a bull and bear research agent for a given stock. Essentially what it's doing is once the user provides a stock, it's going to use the Google search built in tool to understand and analyze the bull case as well as the bear case for the particular stock and then give me a summary in a bulleted list. Let's go ahead and run that. It gave me the YAML file. I'm going to go ahead and say yes. This looks good to me. You can see that once I've submitted as yes, it's now populated my agent with the instructions automatically. It's also filled in the inbuilt tool that is required to perform this action. So let's go ahead and save this and now give it a shot. I'm going to say Nvidia. So there you go. I now have the bull case scenario for NVIDIA as well as the bear case scenario. You can see that I was able to create this ADK agent with a built-in tool with instructions all with just a single natural language prompt. Now let's go ahead and edit this builder again. And this time let's explore some of the options that we have with the visual builder. I'm going to close this out. And you can see here that I have the option to add a sub agent. I can add an LLM agent, sequential agent, loop agent, or a parallel agent. Now, outside of that, we also have tools that you can add. There's function tools, which is basically you define your own Python code. And then we have built-in tools. These are the list of built-in tools that's available to be leveraged using the visual builder. You can use Vertex AI search. You can get a user in the user choice, like a human in the loop. You can have file retrieval, preload memory, etc. In this case, you can see that it's automatically populated with the Google search. I also have sub agents, which we just talked about. And then there's also options to define the callbacks right within the visual builder. Now, why would we want to use callbacks? Again, this is a concept which is useful for a multi-agent system, but where it really comes in handy is let's say for example you want a particular deterministic action to be taken before or after the llm call the agent call or the tool call you can leverage callbacks in order to accomplish that 